सेल्फ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज नॉट ए डेस्टिनेशन इट्स ए जर्नी एंड इन लाइफ we have to constantly keep getting better and better because it's a progressive journey and we have to keep learning and keep upgrading ourselves to become a better human being to become a better manifester so that we can manifest all our goals desires and dreams and achieve more in life and to help you in this journey today i'm going to share with you five truths about law of attraction that i wish i knew earlier when i started following or believing in the law of attraction in the earlier days when i get to know about it when i start applying it i was not knowing and i was making lot of mistakes and that is why i was not able to manifest and that's when i start learning i start researching and i know some of the major truths which has helped me manifest fast and then everything changed So today I want to share with you this five truths which will really help you in a great way. And whether you are very new to law of attraction or whether you are a seasoned practitioner and have been manifesting, I believe this video will give you some deep insight in your manifestation journey. Are you ready for it? I'm sure you are. Hey hello awesome tribe this is awesome is a your mentor guide and coach in your personal transformation and i'm so happy and excited to share something deep with you today so first when i get to know about law of attraction many many years back i was excited but i believe that okay i just think and it will work and everything is like that and i was so naive when i start applying it and my life was going through a very difficult phase and i was having a lot of struggle in my life at that point and i try to apply law of attraction like most people they do in the beginner days and i just told myself that okay if i think and then i'll manifest and like that and i just think about it and next moment i start asking myself why am i not manifesting and i know that many people make this mistake so when i was trying to manifest something in the initial few months i could not able to manifest and then i realized that there is something really wrong about my understanding and i need to really find how it works and what are the things so then i get to know about lot of tools techniques and processes and i start applying but there are something which is beyond the tools techniques and processes there are certain things that i understood and learned beyond the tools techniques in the initial few years which significantly changed my life and i want to share those insights with you those truth and i wish i knew it from the beginning and because i am your mentor guide and coach i want to share with you right now so that whether you are beginning your journey or you are an expert or a seasoned practitioner it will help you immensely so the first thing that really blew my mind when i understood it is law of attraction is not just what i am attracting If I want to understand law of attraction very well how I am using I need to understand what am I attracted to yes this is the thing because I realize that all the time we are thinking that oh I am attracting this thing I am attracting that thing I am attracting x y z thing but then on the other time we are attracted to many things which are in contrast which are negative which are not aligned and then even if we are focusing on our goals desires and dreams and we are saying that oh i am attracting the law of attraction to this but the law of attraction is working 24/7 and if i am getting attracted to something negative negative people negative situations negative things and getting addicted to something indulge in something means somewhere deep down my intention is very strong with these negative things and that is why i am getting attracted to it that is why my manifestation is not happening so the first truth about law of attraction that i want all of you to remember and introspect on this is law of attraction is not just about what you are attracting law of attraction is more about what you are getting attracted to and when you really understand what you are getting attracted to you really able to know your beliefs and the things that is going inside of you because i know many people they wants to manifest the happy relationship they want to manifest good health they want to manifest more money they want to manifest better job but they are getting attracted to many things negative things which are in opposite of these things and they wonder why they are not manifesting because you are trying to manifest this but you are getting attracted to these negative things it's not going to work together so that is the first truth you have to remember and if you are really struggling in manifestation somewhere this is where you are stuck 
think about your day what are the things you are for few days don't think what you want to manifest or what you are manifesting think about what are the things or people you are getting attracted to are these things positive or negative are these things or people are aligned with your dreams or not if no then it's time to change second when we talk about law of attraction usually we know that thoughts become things and thoughts are powerful and thoughts are everything yes thoughts are the genesis but i realize that intention is the key what is intention intention when your thoughts and feelings are aligned when your thoughts and feelings merge together that's where you create the intention means when you are thinking about the dream but then your feeling is also aligned positively with it and now there is a flow of energy and you are ready for the manifestation so intention is the key it's when your thoughts and feelings get aligned and become your intention that's where you start manifesting so you need to see deep down yourself that what you are thinking you are thinking about the positive manifestation of something but if your feelings are negative you are feeling sad depressed angry unhappy then your intention is messed up is your intention is not aligned so that is why you are not manifesting so your intention should be positive and aligned means your thoughts and feelings are aligned the third one beliefs creates reality yes our beliefs create our reality this is what the key if we if we keep believing in negative things and we want to create a positive reality it's not possible it's not going to happen only positive beliefs create positive reality negative beliefs create negative reality whether you are manifesting relationship whether you are healing relationship whether you are manifesting your dream job money health anything you have to analyze and introspect on your beliefs if you are struggling in the manifestation somehow your beliefs are not strong not positive not aligned that is why you are struggling if you want to manifest a dream job you are trying to manifest a dream job you are focusing on it but deep down you are thinking that dream job does, doesn't exist nobody is working in their dream job because your family or friends around you are not working in their dream job and they are complaining so how can you manifest if you are your healing your relationship or attracting your soulmate but you believe that soulmate doesn't exist or love means pain or love means anger or frustration then how can you have a joyful relationship one side you want something your belief is in contrast so you need to really introspect your belief and you really need to understand that what are your beliefs and this is where the four things came up because you have to change your belief you have to change your mindset now many people the fourth truth i get to know about the, our mindset is always dynamic yes our mindset is always dynamic many people they accept that they have a certain kind of mindset which build up because of their early or programming because of a family or society or school college they went and the friends around there they have a certain kind of mindset and then they accept that by the end of their teenage or early 20s or by mid 20s they accept that my mindset is like this and the rest of the life they don't want to change it and that without changing the mindset they expect a different result from life from manifestation it is never going to come only when you change your mindset then the result will change with the same thinking you will be keep getting the same result with the same mindset you will be keep getting the same result if you want a different result you have a different mindset but the best part about mindset is mindset is dynamic your mindset is like always it's in a dynamic form any time it can be molded any time it can be changed it can go from a negative mindset to a positive mindset it can go from a lack mindset to an abundant mindset it can go from any kind of conflicting mindset to a clear positive and focused mindset but having said that mindset is dynamic at the same time a positive mindset can go into a negative mindset an abundant mindset can go from abundance to lack so the reverse flow also can happen that is why you have to be very particular about your mindset and you have to keep working on your mindset and constantly programming and working on your mindset to keep making your life better and better and better when you will be working on your mindset and making it better and better your life will be keep getting better that's how we go to the fifth point which is your manifestation is not a destination your life your self transformation is a journey like many people when they wants to i want to give this example many people 
when they want to lose weight so many people are not able to lose weight in spite of following exercise yoga or diet or anything because so many people they keep thinking like oh okay i am 70 kg weight or i am 90 kg weight i just want to be if i am 90 i just want to be 60 or if i am 70 i just want to be 55 or if i am 100 i just want to be 75 and they have like they take their fitness transformation or fitness goal like a destination and they just want to reach from here to here and their desire is once reaching there is done then i don't have to do anything and those people who have this mindset they're never able to reach this state whoever is getting healthy or transformed no matter whether they're 100 kg or 150 kg they only come down when they consider that their health is a progressive journey and they are not doing for some particular weight or some particular weight loss they are doing it to live a healthy life forever rest of their life when they set this mindset they start transforming same way in our self transformation same way in our manifestation journey it's not just about manifesting a dream job or some money or relationship and all self transformation is a progressive journey so every single day you have to keep working on yourself like the fourth point keep working on your mindset the third point keep working on your belief system keep transforming yourself keep making yourself better and better and better in your understanding in your application and you will be keep focusing on a better life every single day so that you will be keep moving forward not get stuck somewhere because the moment you stop somewhere you start going downward so these are the five things when i get to know i didn't get to know about these five truths all of a sudden and nobody came and explained it to me i learned it through my life in the initial few years of knowing law of attraction these five have changed my life and enhanced my power of manifestation and ever since everything changed drastically so i want all of you to remember this and apply the first the first one is law of attraction is not about what you are attracting it's more about what you are getting attracted to. If you are getting attracted to negative things, conflicting things, stop getting attracted, change your focus and then you will manifest faster. Second, your intention is the key. When your thoughts and feelings get aligned, your intention gets strengthened and, and then you manifest fast. Third, your belief creates your reality. If you have negative beliefs, introspect, check your beliefs, change them. Fourth, your mindset is dynamic. You have to constantly making it great. Only when you work on your mindset, with a new mindset, you have a new outcome. Fifth, your manifestation and self-transformation is a progressive journey, not a destination that you are going to apply law of attraction for two months, three months, and then you stop applying, stop doing any affirmation, stop doing anything, and then you fall back. Many people have this experience that they apply law of attraction, do some meditation, visualization, and all for a month or two, or practice gratitude for three months, and they feel really positive, they manifest many things, and they stop doing everything, and then they fall back into the negative state, and after six months, they realize that their life is going in the downward spiral and nothing is working for them and then they wonder like why it is no more working my friend life is a progressive journey you have to keep working on yourself so that you keep getting better and better and better and you will be always working in programming your mind to manifest more positive things in your life because we as human we have infinite potential to achieve whatever we want and i want you to believe and focus and work on yourself and have a truly abundant and awesome life Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the magical creation of God. And if this video has given you a deep insight, if this video is an eye-opener, like it, comment and share it with someone. And which is the point that you like the most or which is the point, which one point or truth is most insightful for you, do let me know in the comment section and stay awesome always. If you want to learn more tools, techniques and processes, then check our online academy, Awesome is Academy where you will find a lot of tools, techniques. It's time for you to manifest your desires. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay motivated, stay awesome.